Hello, come here, y'all. Hello, sorry. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, what a guy. <sighs> Howdy, dude. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? It's, it's going? going real good. We're up here at the wild world. Ready to bag him and tag him. Oh, you know yeah. What I'm Look what else we got here. What you got on your, uh, what is that? What are you, Santa Claus? Ooh. Bags. Got bags? Yep. What do you got bags for? Taking the snakes to a new location. Oh, the snakes are going somewhere else today? Where could they That's be going? That's crazy. I wonder where they could be going. I'm tired of these How monkey fighting people? snakes in this monkey fighting building. Yep, exactly what he said. Let's go find Chandler. And let's get into today's video, guys. Oh, you sweet, good oh. man. I love you. Look how big you're getting, sir. Oh. So cute. Oh, you are adorable. You're being so noisy right now, dude. Hi. Oh, and kiss my fingers. Oh, he is. <laughs> are you hungry? Maybe we need to feed you, huh? Shall we? Where's your dad? That's good. Look at this. Look at this cute little mouth. Oh, you're adorable, dude. <laughs> His lips. Oh, people don't even know what they're missing out on. Oh, wow, dude. The not so fun days, the not so fun parts about keeping exotic animals or moving exotic animals like this, especially venomous stuff. Things that need to be double bagged, put into transfer boxes, locked, and securely moved to new locations. Stone, just a couple weeks ago, got approved by FWC to he has a, a similar snake room in the back of his house, like I'm setting up still, okay? I just had FWC come out to my property yesterday check out my guest room and we deemed that a snake room for now just to get the permit moved to my facility even though i'm not keeping any snakes inside of my house with my daughter i do not want to do that that is the whole reason why we're just going to move everything to stone's house right now which is right down the street from my house literally stone lives i could throw a rock you know maybe close maybe three throws yeah maybe a couple throws <laughs> but he's a mile away from my house you know but it takes me, I got a lot on my plate right now, especially with my business, my baby, every, everything is just, I am so overwhelmed with crap right now. It is crazy. Crap sandwich. So today, we're not only bagging up my snakes, loading them into the trucks, we're using Chandler's truck, my truck, and Stone is on his way over here as well. Three trucks, hopefully get everything moved over to Stone's house and set back up again today. It's pain as, dude, it's, it's a pain in the ass doing this, especially taking snakes out and bagging them. It's not only a pain in the ass, but it is a very, very dangerous thing to do. That's why you have to make sure you got the correct friends helping you out. Right? We're not going to have any funny business today. We're not joking today is going to go great, okay? Give me a high five to that, please. Dear Lord. Let today be safe. It's a very dangerous thing, moving snakes like this. Bagging snakes up is how a lot of people get bit. So hopefully today goes nobody, nice and smooth. Nobody. And not only that, but I'm gonna surprise Chandler with a snake today. I'm giving Chandler one of my favorite snakes that I have. Oh Lord. That he's been asking that. about for a while. He says little hints here and there that he wants this snake. He's been saying it since I got it. So today we're giving said snake to Chandler. So stay tuned for all this fun stuff that is about to take place right now. The not so fun snakes first. But grab some spinners. Boom, boom, boom. Into the bag. Of course, I forgot my little clamps today. That makes this a lot easier. But uh, whatever. We're going to do it clampless today. We're just going to be extra safe. Use our snake hooks properly. You want to uh, close that off? All right, cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to individually each bag each one of these snakes up okay and then off camera we're gonna double bag everything but i'm gonna save you guys the pain of watching all of this we're just gonna save this video for all the fun stuff that is gonna happen i forgot my zip ties so we're just gonna be tying them shut like this chandler has a whole box 
of snake bags right there with actual ties on them. So I'm gonna steal a bunch of them from Chandler here in a minute. This is our third black and white. We're actually using this thing. It's pretty easy. Like we just literally get the snake in the bag, get the snake hook on the floor so that way it's nice and secure. There's no way that he can get past that snake hook at all. Safely tie your knot and then put them to the side for double bagging. Easy peasy. Just like that. And obviously before we put each snake inside the bags, we make sure that there's no holes or anything from cutting off the zip ties last time or anything like that. There's no way that they can get out of these bags, okay? Especially when they're double bagged. And the double bag that we're gonna be using is a brand new bag that no snake has ever even been in. So it'll be even more secure. And then it goes straight into this wooden box, just like so. We're just putting these guys in here temporarily for just now, just so we can just get everything else bagged up for time purposes. But all the, all the spitters and other lapids, most of the stuff is gonna go in here. The kings, because they eat other snakes, the kings are gonna be in separate boxes. Chandler has plenty of transport boxes for me to use, thankfully. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to be very, we're trying to do this very carefully, okay? That is the main thing. This is the most dangerous. This, this stresses, moving snakes stresses me out more than anything. Because then not only do you have to put them in your car, you have to travel with them, you know what I mean? Imagine having, imagine having a vehicle knock on wood full of venomous snakes, God forbid you get in a car accident or something like that, dude, it would just be, it would be terrible, you know? It's, it's a very stressful situation. And not to even mention, just changing, just changing where the snakes are is always stressful for all of the animals, you know what I mean? Like things go into shock and just die because they're stressed out, a lot of stuff happens. So we want to make sure none of that. He's just a little Congo rhino viper. He's fully grown, eight years old. African Congo locality. He is an awesome, awesome snake. Look how awesome this freaking guy is. So cool. Those big horns on his head. Those black and red chevrons going all the way down his body. He's not really a bad snake, too. Of course, he's going to strike as I say that, but nope, he's not. He's always been pretty placid. Not a bad guy. Looks like he's got a little ghost on top of his head, too, which is really cool. So, we're going to put him in a smaller snake bag just because he's really easy to work with. He's very similar temperament to a Gaboon Viper. You don't really have to worry too much about them being crazy. Obviously, there are particular cases where you have really crazy Rhino Vipers that are evil, you know. But for the most part, they have the manners of a Gaboon Viper, which are pretty chill. So, they're e really easy to bag up like this. It's not really a battle like a Cobra would be, you know. So, we got them separated. Woo! You see how fast that? Did you see that? Probably not. It's, it's tall. This cage is so stinking tall. Dude, these snakes are so explosive, it's crazy. And they're screwing a little bit. There we go. Eureka! All right, let's just take a second. Your pardon? Yep. Let's just take a second to just look at how beautiful. I never show these puff adders a whole lot. They need their own video one day. Because, dude, just look how beautiful this animal is. So freaking pretty. All right, we got the boys in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man himself. What's up, baby? Bro, thank you. No worries, I got you. Only temporarily. My, my room should be done in like two months. I just got approved yesterday. Hey, I got a shorter for you to lean on. Don't worry, hey. I got you. <laughs> and Chandler, I want to thank you. Two months, that's what I heard six I months wanna ago. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for for the last however six eight, eight months it's okay you know i just i it's love yours. i love extra work it's just so fun but hey i've been wanting to give you a present too is it here it is oh. all right Pull you your hands out. <laughs> <laughs> oh really it is uh yeah so bro really you're gonna give me kilo i can't believe this thank you so much kilo that's the one i'm getting i was gonna give you his girlfriend oh bro that's good yeah, that's really good. Where, wait, where is she? I'll, I'll take it. This one right here? Yeah. Chandler always talks about how he likes this snake stuff. So. This snake right here. That snake right there. This snake right here, I can keep that this snake. little white, beautiful, crazy. See this snake. She's crazy, be careful. This yeah. This got for me. This, yeah. this snake right here. Yeah. This, this one is for me. It is spicy, bro. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Pre-handle this thing all alone. She's way spicier than Kilo, dude. Oh my good. Yeah. This is the best gift I've been given in forever. My mama don't even give me gifts like this. Oh, thanks, bro. That's what friends are for, giving each other stuff. I figure it's the least thing I can do. <laughs>
Bro, yeah, this is, I mean, that's a $1,000 snake. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's one of the best monocle cover morphs there. It's not even albino, it's leucistic. That's better. That's clean white. Look at that. Yeah, and she's dirty right like now, it. too. She's going into shit. Shut up, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> She's going Hell to yeah. shed that it looks like. And she's the Jolliffe line, right? With the black line. What's, what's that mean? She is Jolliffe line. Yeah. Oh, is that the German breeder? With the black line. No, there's two different lines. There's diamond line, which is what Kilo is, and then there's a the Jolliffe line, which is what she is. And you have to have either or Ooh. to breed them together. Yeah, dude. What? She, a she's, wonderful she's, gift. Dude, she's spicy, bro. Oh, like, sweet, I, I little, do not do that with her ever. Sweet I, little buttercup. I'm scared. Let me what give you a kiss. Right now, I'm scared to death of you. Oh, little like, buttercup. Can I freeze? Give you a kiss. Wow, what a beautiful snake. Dude, she is... Just be careful with her. She's mouth open, tries to bite you every time. But she's real pretty. I just, I just, I just try to always be there for my friends and then sometimes they surprise me and it's just so much. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> That's a sick hit. Yeah, bro. Okay, so next up. Is Kilo. See how he's acting today. Hello, sir. Howdy do. I'm sorry I just gave your girlfriend to Chandler. I'm very, very sorry, sir. But we'll get you another now one. Now she's maybe. old mine. Maybe brother. one day we'll get you. Now she's girl. old mine. What are you going to do about it, huh? Took is your girl. cloaca flaring up, huh? <laughs> Whatever. So let's go ahead. See if we bag up Kilo. Just oh, that's. Like that. I was gonna say that's a great bagger. Then I realized using my bagger, which is terrible. Yeah, dude. No, it's, terrible it's, and outdated. Dude, bro, actually, we've been using this the whole time, and this thing's an antique. I thought that I was gonna bring my. Uh, I forgot to bring my clips and clip the trash can like I normally do. So this thing actually has worked out pretty clutch the entire time, right? Like we've yeah. been. As long as you have clips, without, it works, dude. Even without clips, don't. we've been using it without clips all day, Clipless? bro. And it's Clipless. working like a freaking charm. Clipless. Clipless. Let's find a big bag to put Rusty in, because he- Rusty, I got a bigger bag in this one. Yeah, let's get Rusty a bag. How about a bag? Bro, this is going to be at your house now. Dude, I'm so excited. How about a bag this big? Would this work? Rusty is- Oh, of course, he's going into shed, and he's super dark right now. Because he eats every damn week. He's so dark, dude. Wow, he looks super dark. Right? He never looks this dark. Darkness! He's definitely going into shed soon. It's a good thing I did not bring him a snake, but I did bring a snake for Kevin. Oh, thank so, you very much. Yes, it's going back to my camera. Ooh, dude, he's got a mature looking face now. Dude, right? And hopefully now that he's leaving the room, Kevin will start eating because yeah, this guy's bro. producing pheromones and whatnot. Which is another one of the main reasons why I'm moving my snakes so soon. For those of you thinking, why move them to Stone's house when you're just going to move them to your house? Kevin has not been eating for however long now. Since January. January is the beginning of king cover mating season and it ends in April. But since this guy is three years old, he's just going through puberty, putting out pheromones. And because there's two females, one male, it's making my king cover want to go off feed because he thinks he has competition in the room. So just a little, little, little bit of knowledge for all y'all that January through April is king cover mating season. You want to get him in there? Yeah, he's a good boy. Don't worry, I got slides. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Goodness. I literally got slides and freaking. Sorry, I was watching Blake's slides. Exotic Animal Ranch last night. I just couldn't help myself. So, you want to make sure, if you guys noticed, all, all the other bags, I'm tying the knot as close as I can. That's why I like to go like this. I like to twist the bags like this to get as much slack out of the bag as possible. That way it's nice and secure for them and they don't do a lot of mushing and pushing around, you know? It's way less stressful for the animal that way. So we'll just tie a nice knot right here on this double bag. There we go. And like I said before, these kings eat other snakes. So the kings we're gonna be putting in separate boxes. All right, next up, my favorite snake. Yeah, that's what we should Shatid. He's always saying. in such a great mood. I love her. I actually do love her though. She's awesome. She's such a pretty snake. She's fun. But she's fiery. She's a spicy, spicy beetle. I want to see how her head is looking. It's getting better slowly. Yeah, slowly getting better. See the top of her head? It should shed out. It's looking decent. So maybe another two, three sheds. She'll be good. Hopefully. Yeah, look how spicy she is. She's a crazy little snake. Yeah. Call her Khabib. Khabib. She is very spicy. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Look how orange that tail is. Holy crap. It's so crazy. As you can see, everyone here is prepared. He's got a hook, he's got a hook. He's got a bagger, and I just got my fingers ready. Thanks, Jim. No problem. What would I, how would I do this without you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's good I don't thing. know. Good thing I got such a good spotter. I did, I was making fun of it. I mean, All right, so it's your tea. We're gonna go ahead and move Russell to the side like that. We're gonna go ahead and put your tea double bagged right next to Russ. And then that's it for this box. And then we'll bag up the two rattlesnakes, put them in their own box as well. Oh, look at that heart on her. Isn't that so cute? Aw, that's my favorite part about the snake is her little heart right there. Beautiful, beautiful baby. All right, so let's get her nice and right into the bag. Boop, 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 boop. I wanna be nice to her rattle, of course. Next up, my dude Batman. Hello, sir. Uh, my buddy actually the other day got a whole bunch of crazy hots. He lives in North Carolina and he hit me up with the list and there was a baby batwing rattlesnake on the list and I tried to get it, but it was already freaking sold. I would love another baby, right? That would be so cool. Get another baby. Cause I didn't raise these up from babies. I got these guys when they were about seven years old from my friend Sloan. So I never, yeah, he is a legend. I, I never got to, really I didn't cool. raise these guys myself. They were already huge when I got them. So I would love to just see a baby grow up in my own collection would be awesome, you know? Ooh, you see what the temperament tiny. difference is. Yeah, he's not too happy about getting shoved into a pillowcase. I want to be here. I want to get these guys closer to home so I can keep an eye on them. These are definitely some of those snakes that need Daily care almost, misting down their cages, making sure that they're eating properly. Scary, scary little springy snakes. Let's just get this guy. It's like a careful dance. Careful dance, careful dance. Just Good job, Alex. Like, Good job. Uh, you know. Teamwork, guys. Protobothrops mansionensis. Is that, that's how you say it, right? I think so. Somebody will comment the right way. Very green snake. By the way, you cannot pay for a tour to have sex with us. That was a joke last week. Tyler just doesn't edit shit out. What, did people actually hit you up about that? No, but I saw it in the video. I was like, that was a joke between us. <laughs> no, I let it fly, bro. This channel, I don't edit all that. I let, I let it fly, baby. Mm -hmm. Like albinos and pipe. This is why we check for holes. Because there's a hole in there, baby. The snake would put its face put right here, here, and then it would come out like... Ah! All right. Mansion number two. Hello, how are you? You look like you're uh, going to shed soon. All right, so we're gonna safely uh, just walk back like this. Look how beautiful that freaking snake is. So cool. Even in shed, looking gorgeous. Even in shed. Drop inside. Here we go. Down the floor. Just like that. Thank you, sir. All right, so that's it for all the dangerous stuff. We're gonna leave the snakes in here now and uh, load up all of the trucks. So I'll spare you guys the pain of watching all that boring stuff. <laughs> Yo! What the hell are these guys doing? Fucking hell. I told you guys. That was Isn't super me? hard. I got one. I got one too. Nice. There we go. All my snakes in the truck. Crazy. Boom. Here we go, baby. Look at Stone's beautiful backyard. Look at this. Yeah, Such no. a sick setup, dude. Check this out, guys. So, we should be able to fit everything, right? I yeah. Think so. Yeah, no, nah, we're good. We're just going to be we're stacking, moving, moving, moving stuff. We'll dude, this is a sick little snake room, bro. It's my little collection. I'm digging, right here. Not much, but it's something, you know. You guys got to stay tuned for the... Uh, the Stone Tyler collab is for to come. It's coming soon. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Stay tuned. I'll show you all, all the goodies that he has. This is actually a rattlesnake that I gave Stone. He's doing great. You guys remember him from the channel? Look at that big old rattle, dude. He's awesome. Would you Looks look at good. Yo, it Looks does. Good. Look at that. It's going to look better at my house, but this will do. Absolutely. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so happy to have my mansions closer. Woo! I'm excited. Wow, you're working so hard over here. Hey, yeah. <laughs> dude, like you're like it. red and sweaty. Look at all this sweat, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude. Just, uh, I just can't 
Can't get away from the stuff, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. Look at that bump. Man, everything's getting so clean. So clean. <laughs> so clean. Squeaky, squeaky. Ooh, time to put the Snickies away. Let's get one of these fancy little fancy hookers. Right here. Let's see if it's good. Oh, Maymay. Go into your home, my love. What's up, man? Look, go in there. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything is nice and clean. Got fresh waters everywhere. So tight. Yeah, dude, that is a pretty freaking snake right there, dude. Woo! This reminds me of Cam. Love you. Right? A few people have asked me to tattoo them on him. And uh, I'm like, no, I don't really know how I would do that. <laughs> that would be yeah. smart. You know, yeah, how do you make that tattooable? But you can do it. So you sick. Alright, this is Mr. Kila right here. Pretty sure. Yep, it is. Hey bro, welcome to your new house. Hopefully, still going to take care of you for a while. There we go. Nice. Dude, he's a beast of a cobra. <laughs> he's so thick. A staple. Looks oh, beautiful. Man. You stole so this girl. Weird. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> you mad, Kilo? There you go. These guys should. They're breedable size, so we can put them together even soon. It's a little bit past that time of the year, but it should be good. I'm blown away every time I see this snake. Right? Both of you guys crouch yeah, for a thumbnail. Yeah, Back cage. This middle guy. He curls with this son of a gun. Yeah, Wait, right. take a moment. Take a moment to really enjoy the snake. I am. Man, I'll have a lot of moments. He's staying with me. <laughs> So Welcome to Stone's scary. world, brother. Dude, look at that snake. Woo! I mean, what's the world record? There's gotta be a record. No, no, it's like a rare foot. Thank you, bro. She rattles a lot more. But she's older than me. She's a good snake. Yeah. She's the one that got hit by Batman underneath her face. Direct headshot that she thankfully lived through. I was worried for a while, bro. If I lost this snake, like this was how big this thing is. It's so beautiful, bro. Big rattlesnakes are some of the coolest things you can. You can't just go out and buy one of these snakes, you know? Nah, dude. Like, you yeah. bought a right to There you go, baby. Nice, nice. Hell yeah. Home sweet home. Cool. Alright, time for the kinks. Alright. In this bag, we have Shatid. So let's get her out of here. Thank you so much. 
So that's it. Stay tuned for all the new collabs that I'm going to be doing over on Stone Town. The Venom Boy! Still got, still got four snakes. The North named us the Venom Boys and we own it! We own it. The Venom Boy! Oh, that hook for. It'll hook my eye out. Then I can't work. Dude, this looks great. Look at this. Teamwork makes dream work. Yeah. All the snakes. In their cages. We just gotta put locks on everything. Let's go hang out for a little bit. Let's do it, man. I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much. Hopefully, stay tuned on clothes. Chandler's channel. All right. No Everybody, way. fingers crossed that Kevin eats. Yeah. Should yeah. be good now. Now that we got, now him. that we got these kings out. Mashed potatoes are great. Should be back to normal. And look, we got like, whose cage is this? We just uh, we got an extra cage. Oh well. I thought we had uh, everything. Whatever. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. TylerOnTattoos.com for all of your merch. Stay tuned. Go follow Stone. Yeah. Obviously, you're probably already following Chandler. Follow me. Alex earlier. But not in public. Go follow everybody. And I'll see y'all.